Welcome to Physics Al Fresco. This is a demonstration we're doing outdoors because our stray magnetic fields can mess it up quite a lot and the science center has a steel frame and it's therefore full of stray magnetic fields. What we have out there in the distance, if we can get a shot of it while I continue talking, uh, just in front of those two people going by, is a bottle of hexane inside a coil. Uh, all the protons in the hexane, as indeed all the protons in the Earth, are precessing under the effect of the Earth's magnetic field at a frequency of around 3,000 cycles per second. That doesn't have any net magnetic effect for a substantial piece of matter because they're all pointing in different directions as they precess and their magnetic fields cancel. What we're going to do is put a big magnetic field on the bottle of hexane. That will line up something like 10, one part in 10 to the fifth of the pro 10 to the 7th, I've just been corrected. One part in 10 to the 7th of the protons. But they will all be pointing in the same direction. And we turn, when we turn off the big magnetic field, they will all precess together. This makes a fluctuating magnetic field, which we pick up with the pickup coil, and amplify, giving you an audio signal. Uh, the uh, experiment was put together by Paul Horowitz, Turn the camera. <laughs> Attempting to hide behind Professor Horowitz is Edward Purcell, Nobel laureate, who actually, <laughs> Jesus said, you look like Dr. Pretorius in The Bride of Frankenstein, straight <laughs> enough, who was the actual progenitor of the idea. Now we'll do the experiment. Okay. This now in the polarization phase, I'm speaking loud for Paul, who has shyness problems. Now I'm the other way. There, you hear the hexane. There it goes. That's not a background noise. That's it. That's the noise of the proton singing. <laughs> 